This is Twit. Introduction, Samsung has certainly been pushing the envelope in the SSD field. For the past two years straight, they've launched class-leading storage products, frequently showing outside-the-box thinking. Their 840 Pro Series was an impressive MLC performer, to say the least, but even more impressive was the 840 Evo, which basically brought in inexpensive TLC flash with super flash, to be super fast SLC cache. The generous SLC area present on each die and distributed amongst all flash chips within the drive enabled the Evo to maintain pro level performance for the majority of typical consumers uh, usage scenarios. The main win for the Evo is the fact that it could be produced at a much lower cost since its release. We've seen the Evo spearheading the push to lower cost SSDs. So what could be next? Uh, you know, <laughs> the 850 Pro. And Alan writes, if you're going, hey, they just changed the label from 840 to 850, well, think again. This SSD might have the same MEX controller uh, as its predecessor, but Samsung has done some significant overhauling of the flash memory itself. So when you take a look at the, the pictures that are in the article, you have 2D flash memory where the charge is stored on the horizontal plane, and then you see the 3D flash memory. The charge's bits are not stored in the top layer, so that one that just went by is the top layer. In this case, the, the bits are being stored within all of those smaller, thinner layers below it. Um, and if you go one more down, they have this amazing uh, kind of 3D view of what's going on here. Um, there's a really good article to talk about this 3D flash technology. Um, but uh, the newer type of flash, chain trap flash, uh, quote, hasn't really caught on in the 2D world, but works extremely well with the particular process Samsung has chosen. Um, and I'm going to sort of stop before I... Uh, completely butcher this because when you get down below to figure six where metal gates become usable, uh, the TCAT technology from Samsung Electronics is about the same structure as Toshiba's BIX, but a change in manufacturing makes it possible to use metal gates, which have been cited as difficult to use until now. And the tech gets really, really serious. Looking at like tunnel oxide film, nitride film, um, it's pretty, pretty cool. So uh, channel hole technology, uh, <laughs> since they're stacking vertically, they don't need to pack things in so tightly on the horizontal plane which enabled Samsung to take a step back on the lithography side of things, meaning VNAN is made on a 30 nanometer process. Um, it's pretty cool stuff. Um, it's really, really cool stuff because the newer 32 layer VNAN is made with a smaller die capacity, like 86 gigabit. Uh, quote, presumably because yields are tougher the more layers you add. Um, so, but you get more dies in the chip package and things get really complicated from there. Um, the benchmarks are pretty cool. When you uh, skip to it, it is an editor's choice from PC Per. I like the increased failures where the magic smoke is leaking out of that 3D rendering that was just up there. Um, the uh, prices were updated. We're looking at like somewhere between 68 cents a gigabyte on the one terabyte version. The clock's in at 700 bucks, uh, $130 for the 128 gigabyte version. This is the Amazon pre-order link. You cannot buy these yet. You can pre-order them though. Um, outstanding performance excellent fragmentation resiliency and a 10-year warranty and, and alan notes yeah i said it uh cons hard to come up with one but i'd really like to see this vnan doing the tlc slc trick that the evo series does samsung tells alan this is absolutely doable which likely makes this con into a pro uh and the intro price of the smaller capacity units was a little on the high side so basically um samsung is continuing to take names and kick ass. Alan gave him a PC perspective editor's choice. Quote, the 850 Pro delivers on one of the potential answers to ever more difficult flash memory die shrinks. Instead of shrinking, Samsung actually expanded their process back up to 30 nanometers and chose to go vertical. It's really cool. They plugged this new VDAN into their existing controller technology and really made it sing. The structure and interface improvements of the new flash go a long way to alleviate some of the small write speed issues seen on typical 2D NAND, making it very resilient to fragmentation over time, which should help out in RAID configurations lacking trim support. Did you hear that, kids? RAID with SSDs. It's about to become affordable. Kind of. <laughs> Overall, he's extremely impressed with the 850 Pro. The only fault he can really find is that intro pricing is a tad high.